Hey everybody, it's Jack and Dan, and today we're doing a one month update on the bays. Yeah, about a month ago we put these two together to try to breed them, but apparently they were a little bit too old, weren't very interested in each other, so they basically become like nursing home beta roommates, right? <laughs> Let's flip it around and we'll show you what's going on with them. Okay, so we turned off the room lights so you could see a little better. Uh, quick update, the little book light still continues to work totally awesome and all the other gravel lights and everything. The red crypts that we got from Terrace Tank Friends are doing great. Um, they did start to kind of look like they were having some issues and we realized we just really weren't giving them enough light. So we've been leaving this light, even though there's room lights on in here, we've been leaving this light on a little more to really get them some direct light. light works pretty well. It, 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 it works great, even though it's just tiny and it was super cheap. And these guys are kind of starting to come back to life a little more, so that's really awesome. Um, all the snails in here are doing good. We got baby snails everywhere. We have baby mystery snails. We have baby ram's horn snails. And I think up here, so there is um, Lady Shazam, Mary Bromfield. And you can see she's just as big and thick as ever. They actually just ate and she, she likes to eat. So she's like yummy and she's just kind of hanging out in her after meal um, coma there. <laughs> Here's the big, couple of the big mysteries over here. This guy is always, always fun. This one here, always going through the roots. We've done a lot of shorts on this guy. Oh, look, she wanted to, she's like, no, I want to be in the video, not just the snails. She's always very interested, always coming up to the camera, always coming up to the front if we're doing videos or if we're looking at the tank. But anyway, this snail, super awesome, always crawling through the roots. Here's one of the little golden ones. There's some more ram's horns. There's a ton of ram's horns. Anyway, yeah, she's really cool like that. So the pothos continues to do well here. Um, let me zoom this back out a little bit. Here's uh, here's good old Wade Wilson. Um, yeah, he's just kind of looking tired. <laughs> he hangs out like on this side usually. Mary hangs out on the other side. And there's not really any friction. We just fed him. There's a couple pieces of food. You can see they're floating. He ate a couple. He swam around a little bit. And he just kind of hangs out here. They really don't mess with each other. Um, you can see some of this uh, moss is starting to grow back too. That goes through periods of times where it'll go down to like one strand and the snails will like eat it and then it'll kind of come back and grow and turn into a net here in the pothos roots. And then they eat it again and it just kind of, that's been doing that for about two years now. It just kind of comes and goes there. But uh, anyway, yeah, I mean, he's, he's doing great. He looks good. Oh, there he goes. He's kind of moving around a little bit uh, when he sees the camera. But they swim around, they go eat. There's really no friction. It's been a good solid month in here and the tank's looking great. Uh, we really don't have to do anything to this tank. We just don't have to do anything. The snails keep it nice and clean and they just eat very little. Um, we do put some algae wafers in it. And the pothos, of course, is doing awesome. And going down into here, some of it actually broke off because in the winter time, the light changes the angle and some of it on this side of the room doesn't get that much and then it'll like, it'll drop off. We actually usually take that and put it back in the top. What we did this time is we just threw it in this man cave here and um, we're gonna see if we can kind of grow some roots or bring it back to life. We're definitely gonna be putting something into the man cave here this winter. We're gonna decide what we wanna do. And the lights aren't on right now, but the beach tank, the princess tank's doing awesome too. We're gonna decide what to do in there. That's just got a bunch of near right snails right now kind of crawling around. And we're definitely gonna you know, figure out something to do in there this winter and decide what to do with this guy as well and things like that. But just want to do a quick follow-up. Um, they're doing awesome. I mean, really, they're, they're, going, uh, they're going along fine. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, she's a lot bigger than him. She's going to kill him. They get along fine. They're just, they're just old. <laughs> and they hang out, and they have plenty of room in this 20 long, and he kind of hangs out on his side. Sometimes they'll switch sides. He'll go over here, and she'll go over here. And sometimes they hang out right by each other. Yeah, they don't really seem to be bothering each other. I mean, they're at a pretty uh, just a just a friendly type of scenario. Yeah, yeah, they, there's no issues at all. It's been an, an entire month and they, they just kind of do their own thing. They're not <coughs> super active. She's a big lady. She's a big lady. You can see she likes the attention too uh, of the camera. She comes around. Sometimes she kind of watches the snails, but they're so big that she doesn't really bother them. She'll just kind of look at them and they'll pull their antenna in if she picks at them or something like that. But she gets along good. She flies around and everything's fine. He ate a couple things, so he's just kind of sitting here. He's not doing much. Anyway, we just want to do a follow-up and uh, let everybody know how they're doing. 
Tank's looking beautiful. Thanks again, Tara, for the plants. It's looking absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, so that wraps it up. We just wanted to kind of do an update before we kind of did any other videos. We are gonna have a time-lapse coming up of this tank. Now that we have this little book light, overhead light, um, we really enjoy doing those time lapses. It's amazing how much these guys move, isn't it? During yeah, the time lapse? Well, you, yeah, and you don't notice it when it's just like, you know, you come in every once in a while, but like they go from one place to another, it's cool. Yeah, I mean, you look at a snail and you go, hey, yeah, they move around. Uh, and some of them do move faster than others, but when you look at like a 24 or 48 hour time lapse, it's amazing how many times they go around this tank. People are like, oh, how are your tanks so clean? You know, those snails look like they don't move very much. In these time lapses, you can see they go around this tank like a hundred times a day. Um, so we're gonna do some time lapses. We'll put some algae wafers in here to do some time lapses. Those are always fun. Probably put some fun music to it. So that'll actually be coming up probably right after this video. And then we got all kind of follow-ups coming up on other tanks and projects that we're gonna be working on this fall and winter. And of course, we're gonna be doing some follow-ups on the pond, which you can hear. Um, really, that's just been kind of sitting because we've been so busy just kind of letting the turtles do their thing and let the fish grow a little bit and, and, and we'll be doing a follow-up on that and everything too. So we'll see you soon. Guys, have an awesome day. Bye-bye.